Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Last time we continued through the Westbrook Hospital and got a nice jump scare from Pyramid. Probably the best jump scare, one of the best jump scares I've ever had. Um, completely caught me off guard. Um, regardless, uh, he caught us off guard and um, basically threw us to a section of hospital where we found Laura and she kind of goaded us into this room. She said there was a letter from Mary in there. She, we went in there, she locked us in, and we had a boss encounter, which at the end of it, we woke up in the other other side version of Silent Hill, the decayed, disease-ridden world. And yeah, we found a box with uh, two, one, one key, what's well, the one lock and key, one combination and one like, I guess, other combination. Like the one, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. We need to find uh, a key in two combinations. We already found one of the keys. And we're finding the other combination. Yeah, that pyramid hair, pyramid hair, pyramid head jump scare was, was amazing. That will definitely be, uh, like, there's gonna definitely going to be some reaction compilations of that. By the way, I'm all ready to go. I got my, I got my Arizona. I got my Pocky. So, I'm, I'm hunkering down, and we're gonna, we're gonna finish this bitch. Well, the hospital, at least. Don't laugh at me. It's not very nice. Wonder we cannot go in there. Oh hi. Didn't anyone teach you it was not nice to uh, grab at people? Very loud. Okay. Hello? Oh, there's definitely something in one of these. All right. Hey, thank you. I will gladly take. Nope. All of them locked. I'm actually a little surprised. So there's only two of them making all that noise? Oh, like, whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. Look at how creepy these things sound, man. And really, we can't... What are you looking at? Oh, we can break that wall. I didn't even realize that. 
Well, let's try this director's office first. Or not. Am I not doing this right? There we go. Here's James. Oh. Oh, fuck off. Okay, you know what? Oh, you can go through too. I didn't think they could go through. I stand corrected. I'm half expecting another mannequin to be hiding somewhere. to move that. What is that sound? Okay, so I thought we could move this. We can move this. So why would it give us that? Is there another area? Weird. Oh, to climb up there. I see it. Oh, I see. This is me just coming back out. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. What's in there? No. <laughs> okay, you know what? Um, no, not not good, not good. Can you heal, please? That would have been bad. I completely forgot I had a shotgun. I got 26, well, I got 32 rounds, really. I can't believe it, my first shot and I missed. Whoa! Are you dead now? Oh, 
I'll get to you in a minute. He's there again, looking, staring. Says he'll drag me there. I don't want to. I won't let him take me. I got the director office key. Alright. Cool, cool. Okay. So you hear you hear the heavy breathing going on right now, like the muffled heavy breathing. In the real world, if you look at the map, you may notice that this is where Maria, this is where we left Maria. There's pills and everything there. You know what? I couldn't have put it better myself. What's up there? What, what am I going up to? Okay, there isn't much at least. Um, no thanks. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't like to give me all this stuff in this room, guys. I found 0050 in the ECT room again. This time I checked, he was not appointed for the treatment. How is it possible he got there all by himself? And how would he know to turn the thing on? Somebody's gonna answer for this. So close. It will happen. It has to. It has to, damn it. I hear something. I hear something. No! Oh, come on! How many times do I need to dodge?
I am so turned around, guys. So now, are we behind the thing? Let me guess, it needs fuel? Okay, I guess not. I won't rest until they're solved. I won't rest. I can't rest. I don't know how anymore. And that was the director's note. Okay. Wait, what did that say? treatment stretcher. Um, and I just wanted to check something. This... Yeah, okay. This was this room. Alright, I think we're all done on this side. Six five nine. Did you make oh nine six five nine? Okay. All right. even fucking think about it. Alright. So. Um, let's try th this one first. Nine, six, five, nine. This one, the key. So the only thing we have left is this other combination here, which we couldn't figure out the rest of the puzzle. Um, back here. I really hope monsters haven't respawned. Can you go in? Thank you. Like, do these pills... Maybe I have to count the number of pills? Watch it go dark. Okay, so watch it go dark. Maybe the number of times it goes dark is two. Okay, you know what, let me... Okay, what's... Let, let's look through this note again. Yeah, this is the one, sorry. Uh, one year they've been watching me. So many pills they fed me. When a loud hour comes, I tremble every time the light falls. Okay, so maybe that's the number combination. So one year they've been watching me. So one. 
Number of pills was six. A loud hour comes and the tremble every time the light falls. I think so. Two times the light was flickering. And I think the clock was stuck at two. Yeah, two. So. One, six, two, two. Maybe that's the combination. stuck for a second. Well, that's anticlimactic. It looks like we need two rings. One for the top, uh, left hand, one for the right hand. She's an angel no one knows only. She's an angel no one knows only. Oh, no one knows only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them. Sin and sinner alike. She saves me. She is an angel. Okay. So. Elevator. And, um. I guess we're putting that and we're going to the. We're going to the basement. Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat, where you answer our questions correctly and win a prize beyond your wildest dreams. Or, you fail to answer correctly and receive the punishment. It's all in the hands of our lucky contestant, James Sunderland. James, are you ready to play Trick or Treat? Excellent! Here's your first question. In the early 1800s, a terrible disease spread across Silent Oops. Hill, resulting in the death of many of its inhabitants. Their bodies thrown into the lake to sleep forever in their watery grave. How many souls were lost during the plague? 1, 42, 2, 67, 3, 85. Know the answer? Well, you better hold on to it. You never know when it might come in handy. Now, on to the second question. You follow Sanders Street heading east and further on to the outskirts of town. One and only one road will take you towards the lumber yard and the cemetery. What is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Munson Street. Three, Wiltsy Road. Did you get that? I sure as hell hope so. And for a third and final question, Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. 
a brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped in the pieces with an axe. Torn flesh, smashed bones, splattered blood. What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. One of the victims was a local boy named Billy Locaine. But what was the name of the other victim? Billy's sister. One, Miriam. Two, Heather. Three, Julia. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? If so, fantastic. The time will soon come to collect your prizes. But be careful. If you're wrong, well, looks like that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. See you somewhere, sometime, in sickness or in health. Bye-bye. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? So, okay. Same thing happens in the original game. You get into an elevator and went, uh, when you're going to like, a, I can't remember if it was a basement or like one of the other floors, um, a thing comes on and it gives you like trivia questions. Um, and the way you answer it is in one of the rooms, you find like a box and the answers are the combination. So like one, two or three. Um, if you get it wrong, Basically, if you go outside the room, a whole bunch of monsters spawn. If you get it right, the box opens and you have like a whole bunch of like items, like uh, healing items, bullets, like so many. It's crazy. So... Once we find the box, we'll we'll figure it out. Assuming it's a box anyway. Man, this place can really get you turned around, eh? Where the fuck am I? What's in here? Okay. So maybe we actually clear this area out first. Something else? Oh, there is. That is pretty goddamn disgusting. I was gonna say, who's hissing? 
I guess this is maybe the generator? I don't know. This is where I came from, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised this thing is still working, considering the state of this place. Oh, that's lovely. Alright. Slowly and carefully. I see you there. I fucking see you there. You miss me, bitch. Of course, I miss. I miss too. Keep my distance with those things. They could apparently spit really far. I know I haven't been saying much. I I just don't really know what to say in these kind of situations. there, but why? Like, isn't that where I came from? Maybe it's an area I couldn't access. <laughs> fall. I feel like I'm going to have no choice but to go that way. Yes, this way is locked. Huh, indeed. Okay. 
I, I guess we're following the bloody trail. James. Mary. Oh. Maria, I thought. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? I was almost killed back there. I have never been so scared in my whole life. All you care about is that dead wife of yours. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't leave me alone again. You're supposed to take care of me. I... So what about Laura? You found her? Yeah, but she ran away. What? We have to find her. Yeah, you, uh... You really seem to care about that girl. Do you know her? I... I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone and... I don't know, for some reason I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Come on, let's go look for her. Okay, thank God. I thought we were actually gonna crawl in there and like go down. I didn't realize it was just a copper key. And um... I'd like to know where you came from. Oh, and now this door is open. Convenient. cannot all right let's get up to some first floor shenanigans what is that fluttering is it the rain Maybe don't wander off like that, Maria. What the hell is that? Well, what do you know? A stroll in the rain. Maria. What are you talking about? I'm trying to keep things light, James. Just you. Yeah. Uh, nothing like a stroll in acid rain. No, I shat the bed. Don't fucking tell anyone. That is, um, quite the deep dive in the pool there. Ew. Ew. 
So, Maria, what do you think of this place? You can use a... I think it's safe to say you could use a woman's touch, eh? look like to you come on, put some elbow grease into it James come on having trouble there yeah you think you could give me a hand me you're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Oh, get off it, Maria. Fine. Hope I don't chip a nail. Dead body? Oh. Not very cute, is it? Here, why don't you take it? Thanks. He's like, thanks. The hell is that? Looks kind of looks like a face. Anyways. So, where to now? Oh God. Come on. I think I know where those rings belong. Up your ass. Wait, is this is where it came from? Maybe? No, it's not. The patients will become the diagnosis will become the diagnosis scheduled for them when they'll make recovery as my aim is always for the entire personnel especially when their symptoms will become receding with effective treatment any questions disassociated no no fucking kidding Sorry. So we want the elevator. So we want this way. Ooh. This is the box I was talking about. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna save. Because, yeah, I'm that kind of asshole. Excuse me, Maria. Okay, so the first one had to do with the the um, the boat that sank in the middle of a Toluca Lake. How many people died? One forty-two, two sixty-seven, three eighty-five. I'm pretty sure it was forty-two. If I'm remembering my lore correctly, it was forty-two souls. So Sanders. Um, and the east side. The road that leads to the lumber yard. What's it called? Let's see if I have my previous maps. I do not. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, I do. So 
this is the one that we need. So Sanders is Wiltsy Road. So that's number three. Okay. The only one I don't know is... What is it? Billy Lacone? Billy Lacone's sister. Is it Miriam, Heather, or Julia? Alright. If I'm remembering correctly, the code in the original game was 313. Here, it looks to be 13. Maybe it's Miriam, maybe it's the opposite. 131 instead of 313. So I'm going to chance it. One, three, one. <laughs> That wasn't. Yeah, that's it. You only get the one chance, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so I'm going to load. Because, again, I'm that kind of asshole. Okay, so let's try one, three, two. <coughs> nope, that's not right. So it's one, three, three. Again, assuming I have my lore right and it's actually 42 bodies that sink. One, three, three. Okay, I was wrong. <coughs> I could swear it was forty two. So it's two, three, one. So sixty-seven, Wiltsy Road, and Miriam. I don't know why it's about forty-two. Oh, this is where we woke up, isn't it? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Can never be too careful. Maybe move out of the way. Where am I going? I'm going second floor. The rings, right. Mannequin coming out of the wall. James? What's wrong? Let's just get out of here, okay? I mean, that's what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so it looks like the copper ring goes first. And then the bottom hand is the lead ring. Yep. wrong. I thought you wanted to get out of here. I know. 
it's just something doesn't feel right. Come on. It's gonna be fine. done. Sick. No more. Ominous note. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. I think I know what's coming. God, run! Holy shit! Okay, go, 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 go! There! An elevator! How did she get behind us? Survive the chase in the Brookhaven Hospital. Well, one of us did. The 
The potential for this illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven, like him, to the other side. The other side, perhaps, may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a pla place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist, unlike the director. But sometimes, I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he's happy there. So, what I, so why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? So we lost Maria. Fuck, man. You know what's crazy? Like, so far we've seen the effects of, like, the other side and, like, buildings, contained areas, you know? Like, the, the, the Blue Creek Apartments and the hospital. And now stepping outside. Like, look at this fucking place, man. all these health items. Even the music, man. Oh boy. Okay. bug. Jesus. Man, I keep expecting to like turn a corner and like look up and like see Cthulhu's big fucking face. Can you imagine? Oh, 
back here. Hi. did see a bug falling around over here. I'm getting the stutters again. There we go. There you are. Play this game because you will lose. I hear it. I hear it. Where is it? I heard someone running towards me. Oh, there it is. Spitfire, too. Oh, God. It is so hard to see, man. Saw a bug. Saw it crawling around there. I hear it. Yeah, I know. I'm being reckless again, just kind of wandering around, not even. Well, not paying attention, but not being careful. Can't Stop. turn. It's dangerous. I see you there.
Yeah, I didn't even see Laura. I'm guessing she jumped over. So I'm guessing I missed the whole section back there. I mean, I know I don't have to fight them. I know. Come on, man. Let's see another one. Where did you go? There you are. Oh, there you are. There's two of you. Too bad, still got hurt. Okay. Let's go inside the diner. So it sounds like the last one's a bug. One of those uh, giant beetles. There you are. Still hear static, though.
weird. Oh! I hate how you still fucking get me every time. Not interacting with the jukebox. There's a mannequin around. Just, just from kind of experience. Whenever it starts to quiet down, it means there's a mannequin around. See? I was... I fucking call it or what? I haven't been saying anything for a while. I'm just soaking it all in, if you pardon the pun. Like this is gorgeous and terrifying and immersive as fuck. Like so well done. So fucking well done. Uh, there's nothing here. You know what's crazy? Being out here, I'd rather be inside like the hospital or like the apartments. To me, this is much more terrifying. Because you can't see anything. Well, first off, you can't see anything. Second, 
I, I don't really know how to describe it. It's it's more along the lines of um, in a building it seemed contained. Like this whole kind of world seemed contained. When you walk outside and see the whole world is like this. It's it's more I, I feel like it's more of a cosmic horror thing, you know? Like, for example, here's a fact that a lot of people don't really consider. You know when, like, you know, you wake up in the morning, the sun is shining, it's bright, um, you know, and you can see everything, everything's plain as day. And then when the night falls, it's all dark, and you, you know, can't see anything, you can see the stars, you can see the planets and all that shit. A lot of people don't realize the darkness is the natural state of the universe. The sun is the lie. The night is the actual truth. I mean, obviously there's light and shit, that's what stars are. But it doesn't illuminate the whole universe. You know, it's mainly dark. It's just, like, it's a fact that a lot of people don't consider. And to me, there's, like, a, a dread to that. You know what I mean? Like, a sense of... Like, I'm in this alone kind of thing. Like, a, uh, a pure sense of, like, I... Laura, please, wait! I don't want to say isolation. But to me, that the feeling that I get, that's like cosmic horror dread, which I love. And that's the feeling I'm getting playing this game. Like this version of the game, at least. in the main area of Silent Hill. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Is, uh... Is that first phrase like Nietzsche? Was it Nietzsche that said that? Okay, so what was the note? Letter and a wrench. Yeah, you know what? I haven't saved in a little while. These are the regular ones. You 
No, it's funny. I'm trying to squint at the computer screen and be like, what is that? Oh, hi. So it's kind of interesting. Oh, Jesus! Fuck you. Fuck you. I totally forgot what I was going to say. Come on. No, you can do it. Oh, fuck me. Too many goddamn monsters in here, man. Got 
God, are you kidding me? There's still more. Well, of course, outside. Which way am I fucking going? I need to go to the right. Okay. I'm so sorry, guys. This might not be the most fun episode to to watch or listen to. But um, yeah, I'm I'm just, just a little on edge. Just a little. You piece of fucking. You know, as much as I hate those fucking mannequin things, they are the perfect monster. Perfect for this game. Absolutely goddamn perfect. The developers did a fantastic job with them. On the lookout for mannequins. There's definitely a mannequin in here. Just gotta figure out where it is. Not here. side. thing is, the bugs sound like they're everywhere. I saw you.
Here's one thing I don't like. A lot of people think that, like, oh, I, I didn't... People think that adding, like, you know, 20 monsters in a building is scary. No. 20 monsters, adding 20 monsters in the building is not scary. Adding two or three that are well fucking hidden, now that's scary. Can you imagine if there were, like, three well-placed mannequins in here? Instead of, like... You know, two nurses, two mannequins, two bugs, and the fucking things that crawl around. Forget their names at the moment. Where did we come from? We came from over there. Sometimes less is more, and like, people don't seem to understand that. through here, I guess. Okay. Oh, this is Neely's bar. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. Yeah, so that's what, like, the old Sound Hill map looked like. Like, the one in the original game. That's how he would mark it. He would. That's how he would mark stuff. call it here for this episode i apologize if it wasn't the most uh entertaining um i barely even touched my pocket or on my drink um this 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 episode just got me tense like even more so than the hospital um it just keeps escalating and I, i've mentioned this before it's extremely rare that a game has made me feel this way um, I'm not scared per se, but I'm tense and I'm like full of dread. Like it's, it's not more, it's more fright than scared. If that makes sense, you know, um, like I got all these lights on and shit. I can play in the dark. Like I'm not scared, but I'm tense. That's, I, I you know, I, there, there's terror, you know, like it, deep down in my core, I'm kind of like shaken. So, but I mean, I guess that's worse than scares, but I'm not scared. Like, again, I could turn all these lights off and like fucking go to bed now, like no problem. But playing this game, it's just, it, it gets me in that mood. And it's, again, it's extremely rare that a game uh, does this to me. Yeah, I haven't felt this way in a very long time, like except for Alan Wake. Um, Alan Wake 2, rather. 
Um, I know that like a bunch of you watching like are saying that this like it looks so good and you know I can't wait to play it myself. Like I I really I'm happy at the fact that you guys are watching my playthrough and I really really appreciate that. But I would highly recommend playing this game. I know it's what is it like I, I don't know what it is in the states or like anywhere else in the world, but in Canada it's like ninety bucks, which is insane. Only games here are like seventy bucks. Um. If you can't afford it now, like wait for a sale. But like this game is worth it, even if it's like a ten percent sale, a twenty. Uh, like it, it's still worth it, even at the price it's at right now. It it's worth it, in my opinion. Um, it, it, so far, extremely well done. Even the length, like normally horror games don't run this long. Again, with some exceptions here and there, but like ninety percent of the horror games that are out there do not run more than like six seven hours like uh what are we on video number eight uh and i'm playing about ha an hour and a half each episode so i mean that basically comes out of like what is it 12 uh, 12 hours so far that's crazy i'm not and we're not even like three quarters of the way through it's nuts anyways regardless i gotta i gotta calm down and uh watch some tv or something veg out Thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.